The toilet in this bathroom is designed to use 1.6 gallons per flush. But here's the question. What if it uses a lot more than that? How would you know? And what would you do about it? I found myself asking this question when I was here at my friend Anne's house a couple of months ago editing some video for her business, Visible Results. I decided to take a break and asked if I could use her bathroom. She told me where it was, right next to the kitchen, and I went in. When I flushed the toilet, however, it seemed to take a very long time before the water stopped rushing into the bowl. I remembered using this model of toilet in the past at other people's houses, and the flush cycle stopped much sooner. So I came back today to see if Anne and I could figure out how much water this toilet actually uses. So Anne, where's your water meter? It's uh, right at the bottom of the basement stairs. The meter's right over here. Oh, okay, this is a pretty standard water meter. Okay, so the main pointer here goes around one time for one cubic foot of water being used, and it's marked off in tenths of a cubic foot. And this little red pinwheel thing next to it rotates much faster if there's any water being used. So that's a good thing if you are um, looking for leaks in your house or anything like that. You'll see this little one move ever so slightly, and that means some water's being used somewhere. And uh, They did that so because you might not notice the big pointer moving that fast when that happens. And then you'll see a row of digits underneath, and that means the total number of cubic feet that have been used since the meter was installed. And that's the number that the water company uses to bill you when you've finished uh, a, a billing period of water. So is there anybody or anything using water in the house right now that you know of? Is there laundry running or a dishwasher? Or is anybody going to, um, is there no lawn sprinklers going or anything like that? Nope. All right, well, so far the pinwheel isn't going around, so it looks like there's no water being used right now, as you say. And so what I'll do is I'll make a note of where the, the big pointer is, and then you go upstairs and flush the toilet, and we'll see how far it rotates before the toilet finishes. Okay. Okay, so what happened? Oh good, you brought a calculator. Okay, so your meter shows that you used 0.65 cubic feet of water, and we know that there's 7.5 approximately gallons in a cubic foot, so that comes out to 4.87 gallons of water for that toilet to flush instead of 1.6 gallons. That's about three times as much water as it was designed to use. I had no idea it was that bad. It's supposed to be a low flow toilet. You know, I was just thinking, we have a second toilet on the second floor and it's also supposed to be a low flow toilet, but uh, now I'm wondering if it flushes this much. So can we go check it too? Sure. Alright, so we started at the point three, and we ended up, it looks like just before the point seven, so it's not really, if it got to the point seven, that would be point four cubic feet, so we're a little less, we're probably about point three six, so I'm going to go point three six times seven point five, and that uses two point seven gallons instead of 1.6 gallons. So uh, that one also is out of adjustment uh, in some way so that it's using more 
at least a gallon more water than it's supposed to. Well, that's not so good either. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to call the plumber. <laughs>